The project today is how to draw a fun and happy city and to learn a little bit about the artist James Rizzi and color and the term overlapping. Okay artists, with this project and in every project I want you to remember that the examples shown in the demonstration and video are just to get you going. I want you to expound on the ideas that are there and make your art your own. This is artist James Rizzi. He loved New York City where he lived for over 40 years in the same neighborhood. His art is all about the city which made him happy. So you're going to need paper, crayons or markers, and uh, once you have your drawing done, you could also use watercolors if you, if you want to paint. But you need to draw your drawing with a crayon if you're going to paint afterwards. And the vocabulary, uh, the biggest things you're going to hear are pattern, overlapping, and we'll talk uh, about color too and how color works. Enjoy! Begin by drawing an interesting shape at the center of your paper. You could easily draw a rectangle, but think of different ways to make it more interesting. Uh, think of animals and people, maybe at the top of the building. Once you complete the first building shape, then add other buildings right next to it and completing it to the edge of your paper. Now we're going to learn to add overlapping shapes behind your first or close-up shapes. That gives our picture some space and depth and if you remember a, a city has lots of buildings so we want to add some more behind our first ones. Overlapping is a way we make things look close up and some things look far behind. We do that by just starting on an existing line and adding to it and you almost have to get in the practice of thinking what is that shape going to look like behind. And you keep adding and the more shapes you add the more space you create. So once you have your building shapes and the building shapes that you've overlapped behind then you're gonna start to add the features to your buildings and so you're thinking about people and animals you're making it fun, funny, uh, be creative. This video and project is different from the one I'm, I'm drawing uh, on paper but it does show you how to add the features add the window patterns and uh, just to make it a fun again and funny type of picture Now back to my paper drawing, you can see how the different shapes and the different patterns on my windows have added more interest. So if you want to take a break and uh, look at some pictures of city buildings and the window patterns, this would be a good time to do it. Now choose three to five colors. You can either use, like I said, crayons, you can use markers, or if you have watercolors, you can do watercolors. Uh, something interesting about color is that darker colors will recede or jump back in your picture and brighter colors will jump forward. So we're using color, if you wanna think about color, use bright colors on your front buildings and darker colors in your background. So I added my color very quickly and I hope you take your time and do your best work. But I wanted to show you how the bright colors, if you look, will advance and the darker colors will push back in your picture. So um, have fun with color and hopefully you'll learn something about color and overlapping in this project. So if you need to take a break, let's stop and answer these three questions. Do you know the name of the city that you live in now? And what are three things that you like about where you live? And have you ever visited a big city? So the takeaways from this project is that James Rizzi is an artist who loved his city. 
and painted fun, funny, and joyful pictures of the city. Uh, that overlapping creates space, that bright colors jump forward, dark colors jump back. So I hope you enjoyed this project and um, give me some feedback if you have a chance. Thank you. James Rizzi did other pictures besides cities and so here's just to wrap this project up. Uh, here's a few more examples of his work. <music>